Normally, when a tree has to be removed from a park, the public doesn't bat an eye. But this catalpa tree in Tower Grove Park isn't just any tree. With its gnarly branches and hollow center, it is one of the most unique trees in the park. This is a beloved tree of the park. It has a lot of nicknames. A lot of people reference different fantasy movies when talking about it, whether Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. I've also heard it called the Troll Tree, the Keebler Elf Tree. Um, whatever you call it, it's definitely a beloved tree of our, of our, of our park. Beth Casagrand is the Director of Community Events at Tower Grove Park. She says the tree is anywhere from 75 to 100 years old, and many St. Louisans cherish memories of it. We have a lot of community members who, this is their favorite tree in the park, and they have a lot of fond memories of interacting with the tree, climbing inside, playing on its branches. But due to safety reasons, it's time for the decades-old tree to come down. To celebrate the tree's life, Tower Grove Park hosted several farewell events on June 9th, including a craft event for kids, a farewell toast, and artist hours, where local artists could come and sketch or paint the tree. Leslie Faust is one of the artists who was invited to the farewell event. It's a beautiful tree. It's got all kinds of fun, you know, shapes to the trunk and leaves and whatever. So it's really special, really special. Because I, like I said, I really respect nature and try to do what I can. And yeah, this is extra special for me. Leslie says events like this are important because they make our community take a moment to enjoy nature. I think it just makes people slow down and be aware of how important and how special trees are and nature is and our parks. I mean, look at people are just biking and walking and enjoying themselves and getting away from silliness. You know, just, I think, uh, yeah, just being out in nature is Feed your soul, you gotta do it. Beth says she recognizes the special place this tree has in our community. So she says the responsible way to remove the decaying tree is to allow the community to say goodbye before its removal later this summer. We have a lot of trees in this park, but they're not all as beloved as this one. You know, we have, as good stewards of the land, we think very carefully in the ways that we both take trees out and put trees back in, um, making sure there's a purpose and a plan. Uh, but we also know that when a tree like this has to come out, it doesn't just impact the park, it impacts the entire community. And so we want it to give the community a chance to say farewell. For Living St. Louis, I'm Veronica Moheski.